did I miss something? Or was there like um, a stunting growth at some point in men? Because I'm on dating apps, right? And it's gone past the point of actually even what they look like because you look at them and you think, oh yeah, they're all right. And then you go down to their height and they're like five foot seven. Sorry, what? Five foot seven? This is no offense to short guys, anyone that's five foot seven, but there's so many. I thought, I thought shorter guys were like in the minority, but on dating apps, it's the other way around. You can't find a six footer for love nor money. Like, anything over six foot, that's gold dust, mate. I haven't even, I don't think I've seen, I've seen like one six foot two. One, probably one actually. But I just, I didn't realise that there were that many men that were five foot seven, five foot eight. And is this why they're on dating apps? Because do women tend to go for like, I know I'm saying this is personal preference, like I prefer a taller guy, but do women in general tend to go for a taller guy? And is this why they're on dating apps? Because if you were to see them out, you'd obviously see that they were short. I don't know, I've just like, I've, it shocked me. It's actually shocked me. <sighs> I don't know. And maybe I'm just gonna have to never wear heels again and just go for a, somebody that's an inch taller than me. I just, I can't, I just can't. I just, I give up. This is the valuable lesson I've learned after being rejected multiple times here in Australia. I'm not using the word pied anymore because apparently it means something different here and I'm not sure if I wanna know exactly what that means. So I've had a realization that I've been looking for love a bit too much. I've been searching for it, maybe being a little bit desperate because I just really wanna fall madly in love. I know that sounds so cringe, but I just wanna find my person. And I've never felt this way before. I've always been very happily single, especially after my first relationship traumatized me. I've just not been into dating or wanting anything too serious. And now when I'm ready to date, I've come to possibly the worst place for dating, Australia. And I know dating doesn't have to be serious. It can be fun, it can be casual, but I just can't do casual. I'm a very passionate person and I will fall in love with you. <laughs> so I have been actively looking for love, searching for it, especially with online dating. And I don't think love is something that you can look for. It's meant to be a very natural thing. And when we're actively searching and wanting it so bad, we're gonna compromise the standards that we have for ourselves and we'll just take anyone's love because we just want it so badly. And I've been doing that even to the point where I've created these romanticized versions of these people in my head when realistically I know that that's not gonna work. That ain't my person. And that is the reminder I needed that you can't look for love. You can't search for it and it will come to you at the best time probably when you least expect it okay i have a question for women who are in their 30s dating and um don't look their age because i accidentally just dated a 23 year old i met this guy out and about he looked older had a full beard full tattoos down both sleeves uh it was so fun could con conversate about a bunch of different things probably because it was new to him um yeah and then i found out because he came over and we were cooking dinner and, and he asked me about something and i said oh that actually belongs to my little sister who uh used to live with me and he goes oh really how old is she i said 30 he goes but she's your little sister and i said yeah and he goes well wait bye oh okay um or, oh, uh, and he's he's stuttering. And at that point, I'm starting to think, why would that be? Oh, my God. And then it starts dawning on me slowly, all these little things and all these little pieces of things that he's either A, mentioned. I have no idea what he's talking about. I just thought it was something random. No, it was Gen Z slang. Two, things that he was talking about that are new to him that did not exist when I was his age. And three, I said, these are my best friends to a picture on my fridge. I said, she is about 36, and I think he's going to be 40 this year. He's a little bit older. And he said, well, where is she your best friend from? I said, from college. We graduated together. And he said, how could that 
How many years older is she than you? And he's not asking blatantly. I look at him, he looks at me, and we figure out. We are not the same. We never talked about. We are not the same age. Um, so women who are in their 30s and dating, do you ask right away? If you're not using apps and you're just meeting people in the wall, do you ask right away? How do you, like, I didn't ask. I should have asked. My favorite part about men is that when they start dating you, they have this fantasy girlfriend idea of you in their head and they get really excited and make a lot of plans and oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna take you here, let's do this. And then you're like, okay. And suddenly nothing is ever planned. Oh, sorry, I was a real person. <laughs> Nobody cares. Imagine, she thinks there are more men over six foot compared to men under six foot. The data tells us men over 6 foot are only 14.5% of the population. If she referred to these men as gold dust, she should realize the majority of these men are probably already in relationships. And she is desperate for an over 6 foot man, but she won't get one anytime soon. It's interesting how modern women's standards constantly work against them when it comes to them finding a relationship. From their height preferences, to the man's income and looks. Then we also have to consider the woman's personality and how it drives most of men to become alcoholics. <clears throat> I'm, I'm drunk. I don't think there's anything wrong with looking for love, but when she said her last relationship traumatized her, it more than likely means she's looking for a relationship while having lots of emotional problems. This is clearly confirmed when she says she keeps falling for men too easily. She's trying to fill an empty void inside of herself. As a result, she gets filled in another way and gets dumped afterwards. That is fucked up. She said she doesn't look her age, but to me she doesn't look like she's under 30 at all. I would have guessed her age to be 35. I've heard rumors that Gen Z tend to look older in their younger years compared to when we were their age. Maybe the guy is used to seeing women his age look older so he couldn't tell her real age. I wouldn't be surprised if she allowed him to use her for practice regardless. It was good practice. The guy lost interest. Pretty simple to understand. When a man pursues a woman, he wants to know if he's getting somewhere with her or if he will get some sort of reward or receive some form of reciprocation. Otherwise, his pursuit becomes meaningless. The worst experience for us guys was when we put effort into impressing a woman and it got us nowhere. Never again will I fall for that crap. And I'm sure you guys won't either. Facts. Real men of genius.